What's going on, guys? This is Michael Jones, better known as Iceberg from the Quant View Discord community. And I want to briefly uh, touch on Asian and or uh, London session trading. So uh, everyone who has uh, uh, direct messaged me in the Discord or had uh, extended uh, conversations and maybe the pro channel or any of the other channels in the Discord, at, at some point I've uh, told them that my day jobs hours have changed. So previously where I could trade always in New York session and I prefer to wait until about 9.45 a.m. or 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to take a couple of opportunities before I was done for the day. Uh, my schedule now uh, typically would consist of having to be uh, on site at the uh, job that I work at from uh, 8 to 5, essentially, right, uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, so I still want to have a desire to trade, so naturally I had to make an adjustment. And uh, the work that I do, which is providing uh, behavior uh, treatment for uh, autistic uh, children, for me personally is uh purposeful right so i didn't want to not work that job just because it makes uh trading different and the great thing about trading uh futures specifically is that you know market is open 23 hours a day it's only closed between 5 and 5 59 p.m uh eastern standard time just closed for that one hour so uh had to do an adjustment right so it was either going to be trading late into the evening uh which is asian session which I'm not the biggest fan of because I personally like to unwind during uh, the evening. And it's uh, two ways to think about it, right? If it's a great or an amazing opportunity, you have all of this hype and excitement about making how much money you make based on the trade being amazing. And then, you know, I have to wind down and go to sleep to prepare for the next day. Or on the other side of that, you lose and, you know, myself personally still being a relatively new trader you know less than one year in um you know i get upset you know my emotions can be you know, i wouldn't say jolted I, I would just say that just not being in the best space right like i like i like to leave all of the work that i'm doing done to prepare for the next thing so in my viewpoint asian session was out of the question uh which led to london session so typically and if you see where my mouse is uh, scrolling around the Q momentum, you can see it's between 3.30 and uh, 9 a.m. times here. So typically, uh, my block of um, trading is going to be between this 4.30 to 6 a.m. block here, right? And normally, volume for ES and NQ would range between... If I remember correctly, Friday's session was around 50 to 58,000 people participating. And I think ES had about 80,000. So I say all of that to say that volume is a lot lower than what is normal during New York session. Uh, but just because it's lower doesn't mean that there are not opportunities uh, to be had. And you can make a, um, a decent... Um, you know, career or uh, trading aspirations, uh, trading Asia, New York, or London, but for myself specifically, uh, London session, right? And you just keep the pressure off yourself. So just still keeping your risk uh, respectful to where any one, two, or three trades don't take you off the game. And, you know, have the, the long view approach, right? So I want to show... Uh, specifically uh, the trade uh, that I took. And um, if I remember correctly, uh, the day ended up at about $230 per uh, across all of the accounts I used with the, the copy trader. Uh, but essentially I ran into an order block um, that showed deep sales. So uh, right at about, well, let me back up. I got to the computer uh, at about uh, this area here, right? So we were coming down a bit and I began to 
take some buying opportunities because price started to cross a queue line. And I use the same strategy that I would use in New York or that I would use an agent, right? So um, if we're in a, whatever the uh, trend is um, for price, I consider that opportunity once price crosses the line. So we had a buy queue line way back here. And this is around 4.30 to 5, right? And we get this big push up before we begin to push back down a little bit. Uh, but this push back down wasn't enough to grant a sell queue line. So for all intents and purposes, as I've said repeatedly, that we're still in a trend going up. Uh, so once price, and I want to zoom in here so you can see the Rinkos, if you can. They're black and white, so difficult to see it. But you can see cloud that uh, shows the direction. Uh, once price began to come back up, at this point, I'm looking for uh, momentum and money ball. And as you can see here, momentum and money ball is at about here. And that's where one, one of the opportunities that I took, which was at about 435, and it peaked at about, I want to say if I remember correctly, it wasn't a, a big trade, like I said, because there's an order block that kept pushing uh, opportunity or preventing opportunity for coming uh, further and further up. And as you can see, technically, like, so this is a five points, right? But um, as you can see, uh, price tapped here comes down, taps here, and it even earlier tapped here. So essentially this was the hidden sell wall. And if I would have had more time, I would have been able to take advantage of this deep sell uh, before price then ran straight up, right? But there was just a bit of resistance at this point and we had three different taps, according to the wrinkles here, here and here before buyers got exhausted and it went down. Um, so uh, the the larger point of my explanation, and it was about a five point, uh, that was my best opportunity. And then there was another smaller uh, three or four trade opportunity that I had. Um, but the larger point that I just want to explain in this video, right, is that whether you're using, you know, the strategy that I have, have and that was due to uh, Tucci on Quant View that he showed on social media how he used Q Line and Q Wave to have confirmation along with Moneyball and Momentum. Whether you use that strategy or if there's any other strategy that you use with Quant View, uh, it's all going to remain, you know, the same, right? The name of the game mainly is just going to be patience. Uh, with London session, you probably have to be um, a little bit more patient than you would in New York, just because the volume isn't as high. Uh, as you know, everyone being awake and alert in New York session and being able to trade and trade with that volume. Um, but Quant View, as I've always said, shows plenty of opportunity uh, that you can take advantage of. And right now, for me, uh, I'm kind of living in this London uh, session uh, area of trading. Uh, definitely has been an adjustment. But more importantly than what the adjustment is for me, I have been able to show myself and even others that uh, have seen in the Profit Lynch channel as I explain uh, the setup and what it looks like is that if you have the patience, if you have the discipline and you are, you know, sniper with your entries and you're using all of your tools to take advantage of being able to see when the market goes up see when the market is going sideways or see when the market goes down, uh, you definitely can be profitable in New York session, Asian session, or specifically for myself, London session. So um, I, I hope just a brief explanation of what I described there was helpful for everyone. Um, everyone at Quarry, we're going to continue making these uh, YouTube videos, these social media videos, of education, uh, being able to help everyone within the community that's a reoccurring member or for everyone who has uh, discovered Quant View and is trying the 
uh, 14-day uh, free trial that is currently available right now. So I hope this video finds you guys well. It was great talking to you all. Uh, and I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Everyone take care.